Okay, so this is demonstration of the memory function on the RS Pro RS9985 insulation multimeter. First test we'll do is on the motor simulator to measure the winding resistance across the three phases. So if him, and we'll go around to ohms. So to get this to go into memory, I hit the store button. And on the top here, I have how much memory has been used on the right hand side and then the sampling rate on the left hand side. I can adjust the sampling rate with the keys here to set it wherever I want. If I leave it set at zero and hit the store button again, then that will give me a manual function, which is what I'm going to do. So hit the store button. It's taking me back to the resistance reading. I'll do the first phase. And then to save it, once I'm happy with the reading, store, and you can see it's gone up to number one on the memory. Okay, so we go to phase two. And we hit the store button again. Okay, and then the final one. And hit the store button again. And there's my three readings. And if I want to go back and read them, hold the store key in, it takes me to recall. And then I can move through the memory banks there with the plus and minus keys on here. When it reaches the last saved one, it actually goes back to zero and then on to one. So you don't have to cycle up and cycle down. You can just cycle through them with using the one key. So there's first reading, second reading, third reading. So that's winding resistance done. To get rid of these readings, uh, there seems to be a conflict with the manual. Uh, I'll put the instructions in the manual up on the screen so you can have a little read of them. But that basically tells you to use the exit key to hold that down. and then turn it off and then turn it on and that should get rid of the reading there's no change in the display or anything and if I go back to recall you can see readings are still there so that doesn't seem to work what does work is if you switch it off if you hold the range key in and flick it over, you will then see a reaction. And you get the off, turn him off, turn him back on, hold him down for recall, and you can see the memory's been cleared. So, yeah, don't know quite what's wrong, but the manual uh, seems to have that bit completely wrong, which is a little bit worrying. Okay, so winding resistance done. Whoops. Uh, I will then do is an insulation resistance test. Now this instrument doesn't have an actual DAR or pi ratio function but you can cheat using this store function to save all that data and then go back to it, extract the readings and then calculate them manually yourself. So to do that I'm already in insulation test mode go to store Door. and this time I'm going to set it up to read every 15 seconds and that's that one there so the moment I hit the store but again it's going to start that 15 second count so I have to hit the store and start the insulation test almost immediately so that's store insulation test and lock him on and now it will count through you'll see this screen go up every 15 seconds obviously four readings will give me one minute and um, I'll be able to do the DAR or I could let it run for 40 readings and then I'll be able to do a polarization index ratio but we'll let that go through it's 30 second reading there so I'll be coming up to the one minute one what I'll actually have to do is I'll have to stop this manually otherwise it'll just keep on going there's number four 
reading um, and when this is locked in I can't use this insulation button another little quirk of the meter that's not stopping it so what I have to do is actually go back to the lock button and then that stops it and then exit the memory again to go back to those readings there's number four that's the one minute and to go back to the 30 seconds which is the one for the dial ratio is number two so I can take both those readings calculate my ratio myself and I've got a meter that is admittedly not designed properly to do dial and pi but you can make it work and can make it do it and obviously with the download version of this you'd be able to send all those results into a computer unfortunately the RS Pro unit doesn't have the wireless comms module installed so you can't actually do that bit.